Eric, so too. let me be, begin with your book. You and Dr. Kissinger and your co-author foresee, I'm quoting here, a class of technology that augurs a revolution in human affairs. And, and perhaps, as Kissinger has written uh, previously, the end of the age of enlightenment as we think about it. I'd like to ask you to summarize your and Dr. Kissinger's, your, your co-authors, biggest concerns about AI in our political and cultural life, and especially in military competition. Well, first, thanks you, th thanks to the Washington Post for doing this with us. Um, the book basically says that AI is going to be incredible for all the reasons that everybody knows. It's gonna transform biology. We have examples of new drugs that humans could never have designed, new materials, much uh, safer, much stronger, solutions to climate change because of scale and the way AI works. I can just go on and on and on. It's also a wave that's taking over our entire industry. So AI will be something that will be around you whether you like it or not. Everything will have it embedded in it. In the book, we also say that we are playing with fire in the sense that we're changing assumptions that humans have made for a very long time. In the case of military conflict, one of the core assumptions is human decision time. And in the book, we speak about the problem of the compression of time. And in particular, since these AI systems are neither reliable enough nor predictable enough, they have emergent behavior and they're still learning while they're being doing things. We have a real problem with understanding what they're going to do and they can be destabilizing in a military grand strategy sense. We also say that AI will be used or misused by our opponents to, for example, change the misinformation space. In other words, we already saw this with election interference. You can imagine this at a scale that's inconceivably large all around us. That's gotta get addressed. And we also talk about the definition of what does it mean to be human? We're very concerned that we've never had a human-like but not human intelligence to deal with that's similar to our own. We've always been the top dog, if you will, in the intelligence hierarchy. And now the reason we think it's a new age and not just a new technology, because humans will grow up in the presence of these new AI um, capabilities, which will be different from human, but also very powerful and very important. 